Hello, everyone. It's time to tell a tale. My name is Juki Davy, but you can just call me Juki. You all know the story of the three little pigs and the big bad wolf, and how he went to all of the little pigs' houses and huffed and puffed and blew all their houses down. That story kind of makes the big bad wolf seem pretty big and bad, doesn't it? Because according to this big bad wolf, he's not so big and bad. He's just a wolf that just so happens to be neighbors with three little pigs. And apparently, he was just asking for a cup of sugar so he could finish his grandmother's birthday cake. Well, that's what he says, anyways. So let's go ahead and meet this big bad wolf, so we can hear his side of the story. I was told by my friend Juki that you all want to hear my story. Well, here it is. The true story of the three little pigs by a wolf, as told to John Suzaka, illustrated by Elaine Smith. But before I get into my story, there's a little science experiment that I want to do with you kids. It's called the Three Little Pigs Experiment. I am going to pick different kinds of materials to use and build towers out of them. I will then huff and puff and blow the towers down, or at least I'll try to, and I'll see which towers are steady and will stay in place and which ones will fall down. You can join me and do this experiment at home if you like. All you gotta do is find something that you can stack. I will tell my story in just a second. First, let's go ahead and set up our experiment. You can use all sorts of different materials, but today I am going to use tortilla chips, croutons, cans of beans, and artificial sweeteners. I'm first going to go ahead and make my towers with my different materials. So first I'm going to do the tortilla chips. That's about as good as it's gonna get. Now I'm gonna do the croutons. Okay. I think that's about as tall as my crouton tower is gonna go. Now, I'm gonna do my can of beans tower. I feel like this one's gonna be bigger than the others. Oh yeah, it's already bigger. Now I'm gonna do my artificial sweetener tower. tower is built and we will finish the rest of this experiment later everybody knows the story of the three little pigs or at least they think they do but I'll let you in on a little secret nobody knows the real story because nobody has ever heard my side of the story I'm the wolf Alexander T wolf you can call me Al I don't know how this whole big bad wolf thing got started, but it's all wrong. Maybe it's because of our diet. Hey, it's not my fault wolves eat cute little animals like bunnies and sheep and pigs. <coughs> That's just the way we are. If cheeseburgers were cute, folks would probably think you are big and bad too. But 
Like I was saying, the whole Big Bad Wolf thing is all wrong. The real story is about a sneeze and a cup of sugar. This is the real story. Way back in Once Upon a Time Time, I was making a birthday cake for my dear old granny. I had a terrible sneezing cold. I ran out of sugar. So I walked down the street to ask my neighbor for a cup of sugar. Now, this neighbor was a pig, and he wasn't too bright either. He had built his whole house out of straw. Can you believe it? I mean, who in their right mind would build a house of straw? So of course, the minute I knocked on the door, it fell right in. I didn't want to just walk into someone else's house. That would be rude. So I called, little pig, little pig, are you in? No answer. I was just about to go home without the cup of sugar for my dear old granny's birthday cake. That's when my nose started to itch. I felt a sneeze coming on. Well, I huffed and I snuffed and I sneezed a great sneeze. Achoo! And you know what? The whole darn straw house fell down. And right in the middle of the pile of straw was the first little pig, dead as a doornail. He had been home the whole time. It seemed like a shame to leave a perfectly good ham dinner lying there in the straw. So I ate it up. Think of it as a big cheeseburger just lying there. I was feeling a little better, but I still didn't have my cup of sugar. So I went to the next neighbor's house. This neighbor was the first little pig's brother. He was a little smarter, but not much. He had built his house out of sticks. I rang the bell on the stick house. Nobody answered. I called, Mr. Pig, Mr. Pig, are you in? He yelled back, Go away, wolf. You can't come in. I'm shaving the hairs on my chinny chin chin. I had just grabbed the doorknob when I felt another sneeze coming on. I huffed and I snuffed. And I tried to cover my mouth, but I sneezed a great sneeze. Achoo! And you are not going to believe it, but this guy's house fell down just like his brother's. When the dust cleared, there was the second little pig, dead as a doornail. Wolf's honor. Now you know, Food will spoil if you just leave it out in the open. So I did the only thing there was to do. I had dinner again. Think of it as a second helping. Well, I was getting awfully full, but my cold was feeling a little better. And I still didn't have that cup of sugar for my dear old granny's birthday cake. So I went to the next house. This guy was the first and second little pig's brother. He must have been the brains of the family. He had built his house out of bricks. I knocked on the door. No answer. I called, Mr. Pig, Mr. Pig, are you in? And do you know what that rude little pig answered? Get out of here, wolf. Don't bother me again. Talk about impolite. He probably had a whole sack full of sugar. And he wouldn't give me even one little cup for my dear old granny's birthday cake. What a pig. <laughs> I was just about to go home and maybe make a nice birthday card instead of a cake. When I felt my cold coming on, I huffed. <gasps> and I snuffed. <gasps> And I sneezed once again. Then the third little pig yelled, And your old granny can sit on a pin. Now, I'm usually a pretty calm fellow, 
But when somebody talks about my granny like that, I go a little crazy. When the cops drove up, of course I was trying to break down this pig's door. And the whole time I was huffing and puffing and sneezing and making a big scene. The rest, as they say, is history. The news reporters found out about the two pigs I had for dinner. They figured a sick guy going to borrow a cup of sugar didn't sound very exciting. So they jazzed up the story with all the huff and puff and blow your house down. And they made me the big bad wolf. That's it. The real story. I was framed. But maybe you can loan me a cup of sugar? The end. Before I hand the wand back over to Juki, let's go ahead and finish our science experiment. Now we already made our towers, right? So let's go ahead and huff and puff and see which ones we can blow down. And see which ones are as sturdy as a brick house. All right, let's go ahead and figure out which tower will stay and which will go. I'm gonna start with the tortilla chip tower first. I'm gonna huff. <gasps> I'm gonna puff. <gasps> I'm gonna huff and puff and. <gasps> that was one blow. I don't think this is gonna be a winner. But let's keep going. I'm gonna huff. <gasps> I'm gonna puff. <gasps> I'm gonna huff and puff and. <gasps> That was huff and puff number two. Huff and puff number three, here we go. <gasps> I'm gonna huff and <gasps> I'm gonna puff and <gasps> Well, I think it's safe to say that the crouton tower is probably not going to be very sturdy. I already did one huff and puff. Huff and puff number two. I'm gonna huff. <gasps> I'm gonna puff. <gasps> I'm gonna huff and puff and <gasps> There goes our tower! Bye-bye, croutons. All right. We're gonna do the can of beans tower. Huff and puff number one. I'm gonna huff. I'm gonna puff. I'm gonna huff and puff and... Well, one huff and puff didn't work. Let's try another one. I'm gonna huff. I'm gonna puff. I'm gonna huff and puff and. I think it's pretty safe to say this one isn't gonna fall down. But let's go ahead and hit it with the third huff and puff. I'm gonna huff. I'm gonna puff. I'm gonna huff and puff and. That was a meme, not my huff and puff. Our can of bean tower is a winner! But we still got one more tower to go. Our artificial sweetener tower. The littlest tower that we have. Little teeny tiny little tower. Huff and puff number one. I'm gonna huff. I'm gonna puff. I'm gonna huff and puff and puff. That didn't last long. Just one huff and puff did the trick on this little tower. Well, now we all know it really matters what we make out of our houses, huh? For instance, straw, not a good material. It went down very quickly. However, bricks, just like our can of beans tower, is real nice and sturdy. That third little pig really is the smartest of his brothers. And that concludes our science experiment. Thanks for joining me. Thank you all for listening to my story. And seriously, does anyone have a cup of sugar?
So how did you all like meeting Mr. Wolf? Do you think he's telling the truth? And they just made him seem like he's this big bad wolf? Because that happens sometimes. Sometimes people twist the story just a little bit to make it more interesting. I don't know though. I guess we'll never know. Either way, it's still a pretty interesting story. <laughs> hey, guess what? It's shout out time! I would like to give a big shout out to my friend Lucy from Wisconsin. Hi there, Lucy! I hope you enjoyed the video today. If any of you would like a shout out just like this one, you can go ahead and email me at jukidavy at gmail.com with your name and where you're from and I would love to give you a shout out just like this one. And don't forget to follow me on my other social media platforms. These ones, right here. And I will see you all next time when it's time to tell a tale. Goodbye everyone. Just for good measure, let's go ahead. <coughs> Crouton. Oh, I go a little, I go a little crazy.